Good day, brothers and sisters. Ngayon, bibigyan ko kayo ng sagot sa about sa baptism ni Jesus Christ na ginagamit ng iba to prove uh, the doctrine of Trinity that one God is uh, composed of three persons. Nasabi nila si Jesus Christ ay one person habang binabautismuhan sa tubig ni John the Bautista and then the voice from heaven is another person and then the Spirit of God descending like a dove is another person. However, uh, the first point is that even the doctrine of at Trinity have no proper definition kung ano ba talaga yung ibig sabihin nila sa person. If they mean na ang person ay kagaya ko, a human being, an individual, then the voice from heaven cannot be considered a person. If you say that the voice is the Father, but the Bible says John 4.24, God is a spirit, the Father is a spirit. If you say that the person is an individual just like me, the spirit is not an individual. The spirit cannot be considered a person. How much more the dove descending from heaven? The dove cannot be considered a person. If you say that uh, the dove is a person, then your third person is a bird. So you cannot say that the baptism of Jesus Christ proves three persons if you do not have a proper and clear definition of what a person is. Second, if you insist that uh, the three manifestations are three persons, it will no longer be one God. The doctrine of Trinity is still destroyed because that will be three separate gods. Jesus Christ on earth, the voice from heaven, another person, and the dove, another person. So that is already three separate gods. It is not Trinity but tritheism, the belief in three gods. Now, the third point is that the, the, the Jews or ang mga Hudyos sa time ni Jesus Christ and in the Old Testament Jews, they were strict monotheistic Jews. They believed in absolutely one God. Wala silang knowledge of the Trinity. Wala silang concept of the Trinity because the Trinity is a later development. It was just only fixed. It started from Tertullian around 150 AD. Kanya nang galing yung word na Trinitas or Trinity three persons and then it was later on uh, fixed around uh, in the late 4th century AD so it was a series of uh, evolutionary doctrinal process you read your church history hanggang sa na-fix nila kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin nila about one God in three persons co-equal co-eternal co coexistence uh, uh, in the late 4th century AD but during the time of Jesus Christ hanggang uh, or in the Old Testament, they believe in one God. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. An absolute monotheistic belief. Yan yung hold nila the doctrine. And in the New Testament, that one God is manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 3, 16. So, ang mga Hudyo sa time ni Jesus Christ, uh, kung naniwala sila kay Jesus Christ at the time, they will not interpret the baptism of Jesus Christ as three persons. If they believe that Jesus Christ is God, since wala silang knowledge of the Trinity, and then they have a monotheistic background, they will just know that and, and believe that yung, is, yung voice sa langit is just only a manifestation of the Spirit of God. And the same Spirit of God is now fully incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ, as well as the dove. It will, they will just believe that the dove is just another manifestation of Jesus Christ or the Spirit of God in, in Jesus Christ. Hindi nila to interpret as another person of God. The voice is another person of God because they don't have that kind of concept. That was just only a later development. Now, how can we... Uh, what is the proper understanding of the baptism of Jesus Christ? We believe that Jesus Christ is God. 1 Timothy 3.16, John 1.1, 1, 1, uh, Colossians 2.9. Jesus Christ is the manifestation of the one God or the incarnation of the one God. But, however, when Jesus Christ was baptized in, in water by John the Baptist, we have to understand that although God is now fully incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God is still omnipresent or the Spirit of Jesus Christ is still omnipresent kahit saan. Sabi ni Jesus Christ kay Nicodemus, the Son of Man which is in heaven, John 3.13. So even though na si Nicodemus ay kausap na si Jesus Christ physically, but si Jesus Christ is also in heaven. Ano ang nasa langit? Not the physical body of Jesus Christ, but the spirit of Jesus Christ is omnipresent. While the body is confined on earth, but the spirit of Jesus Christ is everywhere because He is omnipresent 
pag sinabi natin omnipresent, everywhere present or kahit saan. Matthew 18:20 ano sabi ni ni Jesus Christ for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am I in the midst of them in other words I am still everywhere my spirit is still everywhere now if you understand that the spirit of Jesus Christ is omnipresent hindi imposible sa iyo na naintindihin na Jesus Christ can speak from heaven as a voice from heaven and the spirit of Jesus Christ can descend like a dove Because Jesus Christ is still everywhere. While the Spirit of God is fully incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God is still everywhere. So we have one God incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ, but the same God manifested as a voice from heaven, and the same God who is incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ, His Spirit descended like a dove. So we have one God in three manifestations, not one God in three persons. The proper understanding is the omnipresent Spirit of God. So, bakit kailangan ng boses sa langit? It's a sign for the people. In John chapter 12, uh, verse 20, uh, John chapter 12, makikita mo dyan that uh, sabi ni Jesus, the voice is for your sake. So, sa time na yan, maraming nagpababautismo sa kay Juan de Bautista, maraming mga tao, but when the voice from heaven came, it was to to introduce to the people that Jesus Christ was their Messiah, that Jesus Christ was their Savior, that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. That's why kailangan ng boses sa langit to convince the people, to introduce Jesus Christ to the nation of Israel, that this is now your long-awaited Messiah. Mas effective yung boses sa langit, a miraculous phenomenon, kumpara sa boses, sa boses mismo lang ni Jesus Christ, na siya lang magsasabi, ako yung Messiah, maniwala kayo sa akin. But it was the introduction of the ministry of Jesus Christ, that's why there must be a phenomenal event, a phenomenal uh, move of God, that's why there must be a voice from heaven. Yan lang yung rason kung bakit may boses sa langit, to prove to the people that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, or to give the signal to the people to believe in Jesus. It was not a proof, proof for a person. It's just only a manifestation of God. And then yung dove from heaven, it's a sign for John the Baptist. Si John is a forerunner of, of, of Jesus Christ. Maraming nagpapabaptize sa kanya. Hindi niya kilala. Hindi niya alam kung sino yung Messiah. So there must, at John the Baptist, hindi niya makikita yung Espiritu. He cannot see the Spirit of God. That's why yung Espiritu ng Diyos, Uh, choose to uh, make a visible sign descending upon Jesus Christ like a dove. That's why in John chapter uh, John chapter 1 verse uh, 30 to 34 sabi dyan ni John the Baptist I saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove upon him. Si Juan the Bautista lang yung nakakita ng uh, ng dove sa kay Jesus Christ na pumatong sa kay Jesus Christ that is a sign for him na ito na yung Messiah this is now, that's why after that mababasa mo na si Jesus si John the Baptist nagsabi, this is now behold the Lamb of God, before hindi niya pakilala kung sino si Jesus Christ but after that sabi niya, behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins for the whole world so, the voice was a sign for the people the Dove was a sign for John. It's just only the Spirit of God na nagmanifest sa langit as a voice at nagmanifest as the Spirit uh, of God descending like a dove. But this, it is the, the same Spirit of God na gumawa ng lahat ng yun. And that same Spirit is fully incarnated in the person of Jesus Christ. So the proper understanding is the omnipresent Spirit of God. One God in three per, three manifestations not one god in three persons see you next time god bless you praise the lord